What's good, YouTube? It's your boy FBI Math. Back with another video. Check this out. We are in the fake LA wall right here at the the uh, Gold's Gym, Little Elm. Actually, they're doing like a new thing with all the Gold's Gyms right now. I think it's pretty cool. Um, this one is a crazy gym you guys saw in the last video, and uh, now we're back. So now XFL tryouts is July 24th, four days before my birthday. So I gotta have some type of good luck right there. But then again, I was reading the Chinese Zodiac and it was like, this is not your year. So <laughs> it's kind of depressing, but we're going to make it happen either way. There's a lot of things going on here in Dallas, Texas and uh, XFL. I think they're pretty much basing themselves out here. So I feel like me moving here like two months ago, I feel like it's just kind of destiny. You feel me? So we're going to go through one of my workouts for the training and not not just one of them, but it's going to be a pretty much a series, you know, trying to get into the XFL. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and start this workout. Transparent Labs, use code to RON, 10% off. Go ahead and hit that link below. And uh, yeah, let's get it. So we do five sets, five cal, which is kind of, you just kind of go for it pretty much. Five to 10 cal, uh, I, I just kind of stop at five cal for five sets. Cause you'll, you'll realize how much it takes just to burn five calories on these damn things. But this is just the start of the warm up, So let's get started. For me, it counts as like mobility as well, mobility exercises. So yes, it's a warm up, but the workout has started. We got a mobility set going on right here. We got one band. This is gonna be for lateral movement. This is gonna be for forward. And they wanna use a Smith machine. This is all about hips. Playing linebacker, I need good hips. I need to open up my hips more. And if you guys watched my last combine video, you can see that the speed and the transition and stuff is there, but I need more hip transfer, more hip mobility. And uh, that's, what, that's what coaches always talk about with linebacker. Gotta work on your hips, son. You gotta get your hips. You gotta get loose. You know what I'm saying? All right, you got all this size and muscle. You need to get you those hips and you need to boom, you know? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> all right, so this mobility series, We'll be back to back, so one thing after the next, after the next. Bringing it to the chest, keeping it tight. We don't wanna be back here, bring those hips up. We're just gonna take steps to the left. One, two, three. Right, one, two, three. Doing these right here, it's just gonna help you get faster. Doing all this right here is what's gonna help you get faster, but doing these the most is gonna help you get faster. So we got quick, 10, one, two, three, four, one, two, Three, four, five, ten. Now we're over here. Try to keep those hips forward. Knee up. One. Boom. Two. Boom. Three. Boom. Minute break. And we got all three again. Starting out with the wall, these are gonna be more like a pogo set. So I'll have a little bounce to it. Hopefully my powers don't, you know, and I don't hit this, you feel me? Relax. I can use some stronger bands actually. There we go. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
So doing this is not only about, it's not only about the jump, it's about the catch too. So having to properly sit back, you know what I'm saying, when you're jumping, a lot of us have knee issues because we don't, we jump up and we just kind of land however. Being able to sit back, use your glutes, use your hamstrings, these hips to catch yourself versus jumping and using your knees. We want to jump and sit back versus jumping, you know what I'm saying? We want to add some weight, a few sets, and then we got contrast training. This is a contrast training video. For those who don't know, contrast training is when you do a weighted movement, come off of it, do a non-weighted movement to expose those fiber two muscles, right? Because we're doing like, you know, we're still doing fiber twos, fiber ones, endurance type of training with the weight, heavy weight strength training. Those are those fiber ones, and then fast switch are those fiber twos. So we're hitting both loads, which is very important for explosiveness and speed. Well, explosiveness kind of equals speed, but. We got five quick reps, we're not leaving the ground. I felt like I fell on that first one because I didn't realize how close this damn bar was. Rest time for something like this. I want you to be 90% effort each time. So whatever rest time you need to be at maximum effort in that 90% range for each set, that's what I want you to be because we have this for five sets. Get away from that. Picking up the intensity, keeping the, the jumps a bit faster now. message to Gold's Gym at Little Elm or any of y'all. Um, we need more 45s, please. Uh, I would say about 30, uh, order of 30, 30 more 45s. We'll do set to six. We got banded hand cleans. A lot of people sleep on banded hand cleans and just kind of do regular hand cleans, but that banded, adding those bands to the hand cleans will definitely help you with strength if you guys are at like a plateau for sure because you're getting full different strengths at different lengths. And that's one of the main thing. I, I, I adopt a lot of training from like uh, Mr. Lowe Simmons, rest in peace, Westside Barbell. Um, so a lot of my athletic training comes from them because you know the NFL teams and stuff are reaching out to him to see what he's doing right with athletes, getting them stronger, getting them faster. So why would I not try to adopt those same methods? So hang clean. <laughs> We'll do six right there. Our right, warm up done, actual set starts. We got four sets of five. I got uh, 45s on the bar. Uh, hey man, if y'all ain't on that new Kendrick Lamar album, for real though, yo, what's my top songs in that joint, bro? All right, my top four songs. Count Me Out, Rich Spirit, Savior, Savior and Mr. Morale are like my, my favorite, completely. But them, them, them my top four songs.
I'll do it right now. Ready? All right, we're on the third set. Went up uh, 35 pounds. Well, I went up 70 pounds. But I still want that speed. If I feel like I can't get that explosiveness still um, with the extra weight, then I'm just gonna take it back down. Probably and put some, um, like some 25s or 10s on there. But let's see. It would probably move a lot better if I had my headphones, but I don't, so. All right, so we got hamstring curls. We're gonna do heavy sets of six, and then we're gonna come off. Boom, each leg at a time. Two, work on that stance, bringing this knee up, get that toe dorsi flex, and focus on that catch, right? Because a lot of times, this is when, this part right here, is when a lot of people tear their hamstrings and things like that, just coming down. Because what you do is you reach. When you run, you wanna be under. You wanna power yourself this way and not catch yourself like this. Reaching out is how you tear something, boom. You want to get under yourself each time. So that's what we focus on right here. Boom, 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 right here. Not, you see, we don't want that. We want right there. So uh, yeah, set to six, four set to six. Pushing those hips in, once again, we don't want to be back here because what we're doing when our hips are back here, we're trying to lengthen ourselves and trying to gain more ground and you're making it, you're actually making it harder. You need to be right here. Hips in. Three, four, five, six. Quick three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again. One, two, three, two, three. Everything comes to speed. Every part needs to be able to be strong and fast. If you think about it, what the main part that people neglect, we're about to hit on, is this front side, the hip connecting it to the thigh. This right here, this is where a lot of pulls come from also. And we'll do an exercise that strengthens and lengthens this right after uh, we're done with this set. But you want everything just to be connected together to be strong. I wanna be strong here, I wanna be strong here, and I wanna be strong here around these ankles. That whole area, those joints, to be able to move faster. Cause I'm a big body. So these areas have to be strong in order from single leg, because we're not, we're not running both legs. Both legs are strong. It's those single leg movements that you need. When I use one leg, all that force, all this weight is on that one leg when I'm trying to propel myself forward. All right, so we got the Nordic hamstring curls. Trying to hold ourselves for about five seconds each time. We want those hips forward. We don't want to be like this. When we fall down, we want all that to be up here, right? Hips forward, fall. One, two, three, four, five. I don't need it right now, but when I get tired, I will. One, two, three, four, five, two. One, two, three, four, five, three. All right, now I need it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, four. One, two, three, five. Whew. 
I really want to sprint after this. That would be like really good. But what I would do is do some butt kicks down right after each set. Ah! Ah!